hi students na karibu before yeyote unaweza kabonyeza button nyekundu iko hapo chini don't forget to subscribe imeandikwa subscribe kwa hiyo ibonyeze bonyeza kengele na chagua all kwa ajili ya kupata taarifa za vipindi vyote vitakavyo tukivirusha na siku leo baada ya kuona hiyo gas thermometer na tutaenda kuendelea na platinum resistance thermometer kama tunavyoiona katika mcholo hapa kama tunavyoiona katika mcholo ndivyo hivyo ilivyo kama tunavyoiona katika mcholo hapa hii ndo platinum resistance thermometer tunaona imekaa kwenye mfumo wa bridge hapo kwenye meter bridge lakini nasema the operation of the platinum resistance ni platinum resistance kwa hapa inatumia simo thermometric property ya ohms ambayo ni resistance yani ohms yani ina inaitumia huyo kama kama ndo thermometric property yake kama ndio ile physical property ambayo ina value measurable with temperature kwa hii ndo thermometric property ya platinum resistance thermometer sangala so, how it works the thermometer works with a connection of meter bridge sima the thermometer coil na hiyo na hapa coil hapa coil yenyewe inazungumzia ni hapa kwa hiyo hiyo coil inayozungumziwa hapo sima is connected on the arm of the bridge kama tunavyoona sima the balance point is obtained for any measured temperature kwa hiyo unajua principle ya working of the meter bridge kwamba hapa kuna galvanometer ambayo ina sense flow of current ile kwa hiyo hapa hii huko kuna meter bridge naweza ni hii circuit hapo kuna kuna meter bridge hapo kwa hiyo hapo kwa kunaanza kuvali ile current ambayo kwa ina vali na ndio tafuta balance point ambapo hapa point at this point and at this point hizi iko ili hizi hapo kwa hiyo zitakuja ku at point hii na hii hapa point ukiendelea kuzibalance kwenye liquid mbalimbali hii galvanometer hapa ile kusoma reading ambayo point tabaki umesimama kwenye zero kwa hiyo hii at the balance point hii galvanometer waga nasoma mshale wake yani waga huko kuna negative value afuko kuna positive value kwenye galvanometer afu hapa ndo kuna zero kwa hiyo mshale wake wenye waga na point hii hapo kwa hiyo at the balance point ushapata temperature fulani na ushaipata ile ndo tunaweza ka ikakuleti hiyo temperature sababu thermometric property yake tayari tunayo ohms ndo hizi hapa resistance q t l k zimo zimewekwa hapo kwa hiyo kupata temperature tutatumia thermometric property zake hiyo maka temperature ni sawa sana kuchukua au mabano times 100 times 100 hiyo degrees centigrade alafu hiyo resistance at any temperature hii ni atene temperature minus resistance at zero alafu tutoa resistance katika mia moja tutoa resistance katika mia moja tunatoa tena resistance at sifuri degrees kwa hiyo hapa ndipo tutakapopata temperature kama tunavyoona hapa kwenye hii formula hapo nadhani hizi formula zimeleka sana katika kipindi kwa hapa ni kubadilisha tu thermometer hata kikupa nini thermometer property yoyote unaweza kuiweka hapa sasa tuje tuangalie kwa upande wa advantage pamoja na disadvantage. Sima it is very it has very wide range. Kwa hiyo inaweza kapima wide range of temperature. Iliyopita kwenye gas thermometer ikana pima 270 mpaka 1500 lakini inapima 200 negative. Ile kwa ni negative 270. Hii inaanzia negative 200 mpaka 1200 advantage yake kwa ina wide range of temperature compared tuze liquid in glass thermometer afu advantage ya pili tunasema it is more accurate advantage ya tatu it is small in size compared to the gas thermometer maka kuchukua size ya hii coil hii ile platinum resistance thermometer compare na volume ile size ya gas thermometer gas thermometer inakuwa kubwa zaidi ya hii tunasema it is small size compared to lazima useme compared to gas thermometer na compare na nani is small in size nasema stable and accurate performance for over a long period kwa inaweza kufanya vitu ikawa stable na ikawa accurate 
for a long time of people makani wakafanya experiment nyingi na kwa wakati mwingi au kwa miaka mingi wakaendelea kuzidi tu kuitumia sasa tuje kuangalia chochote chenye faida akikosaje sala na tukiangalia hapo sala disadvantages za hii liquid in glass moment hapo kwa cha kwanza in term of price in term of price it is in term of price yanakuwa it is more costful tunasema nasema it high cost price in term of price it is high cost afu ya pili it require more skill to use it wewe kaitumia tu kama una skills kwa in term of skills kwa hapo kuna unahitaji more skills wewe kaitumia tu kwa kawaida kama zile gas kama zile liquid in glass thermometer it require additional component such as bridge circuit haipo direct kama ile liquid in glass thermometer yenyewe iko tu hivyo na kabarubu kake hapo haitaji kingine chochote lakini huyo hapa anahitaji additional circuit kama ifaona hapa kuna meter bridge circuit hiyo hapo sasa lakini kwenye thermometer zingine hivi tuamba kwa hiyo angalia kwenye d anasema it show it slow in action compared to thermocouple maki thermocouple ni isoma bado lakini kwa kipindi kijacho kwa iko slow in action ukikompare na thermocouple maki thermocouple yenyewe inafanya vitu haraka zaidi utaiona katika kipindi kijacho endelea tu kuwa mfuatiliaji na nadhani tutaendelea kuelewana zaidi katika kipindi kijacho hasa it is more slow in action compared to thermocouple thermocouple tayari katika kipindi kijacho na kipindi hiki kitakuwa kimeisha hapo tukao tuna discuss platinum resistance thermometer tukaona thermometric property yake ambayo ndio hii thermometric property yake ambayo ndio hii hapa ndio hii ndio hii hapa kwa hiyo hapo ndio thermometric property yake na tumeona advantage hizi pamoja na disadvantage hizi hapo na kama bado hujo subscribe mpaka saa hizi basi shuka chini hapo kuna kitu fetch kundi kimeandikwa subscribe au kwa Kiswahili kimeandikwa fuatilia kibonyeze na kitakwambia kitakwambia kikengele kitakuonyesha kikengele kwa mbele pale kwenye kile kikengele unabonyeza afu unachagua all ili kwa ajili ya kupata update zote za vipindi vyetu asanteni na kwa elimu